All right, what's going on, party people? This your man Griff here getting the feet done did <laughs> by Khadijah. The pictures that y'all saw on her on the Instagram. Hey, I just wanted to throw um, this quick video up letting y'all know. I know a lot of y'all don't like to do the debt settlements. And um, they're being a little, a little more crafty on how they're presenting them. Um, I did a debt settlement this morning. Um, got 80 bones for it. Um, it was like 20 some pages but when the order came through I did not know it was a debt settlement because that's not how they presented it okay so the company sent it out saying hey there's this order for 20 to 29 pages um, 80 bucks dot 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 and I was like okay yeah I knocked that out you know I got time to do it but once I got the paperwork that's when I found out that it was a debt settlement so <laughs> if you're trying to make money you're just going to sometimes have to take what you can and 80 bucks for 29 pages one notarization was to me a good deal but i know a lot of y'all are you know diametrically opposed to doing the debt settlements um and all of that for whatever reasons y'all have and i've done videos about this um just search griffin notary on youtube and you'll find it um and just to recap, debt settlements are a way to keep people from losing stuff. They're totally in a lot of debt, probably lost their job or they've, you know, very low income and their debt to income ratio is just more than what they can handle. And the debt settlement helps keep them from going into bankruptcy, um, just like the loan mods keep people from going into foreclosures. So I know people don't like the idea of it saying you're a representative of the company and all that. But at the same time, everybody's running around saying that when we're doing a loan closing, you're a representative of the title company. So you can't have it both ways, bragging about how you're a representative of the title company or the lender to do a loan closing and then turn around and say, well, I'm not a representative of that company to do a debt settlement. Okay, you're talking out both sides of your neck, front and back. So what you're going to have to do is make a decision as to how you want to roll with this um and what and how much money are you trying to make to keep your business going so just giving you heads up there are debt settlements that are out there they're going to be presented at a maybe a little bit higher fee and you may not necessarily know it's a debt settlement just looking at the order because they may not tell you that it's a debt settlement for it is the type of um assignment that you're going to be doing all right Y'all have a good one. Talk to y'all later. Peace.